iron's bad but like when you're brand new it's really not like it's nothing that you basically hit the nail on the head there's a ton of people that have been playing for a long time and you're jumping into this game it looks like you were courageous and just jumped into ranked it, that's how it looks uh it's very yeah. much like poker <clears throat> let me give you a quick summary in poker when you start out you learn what the cards do and you learn like what hands beat what if you start playing okay. professionally you know that oh i shouldn't play as many hands if you start getting really good you start going i can only play x hands in these positions the reason I tell you this story is because in poker, for years, this game has been the same. If you want to beat poker, play really consistent and patient. Follow, you know, follow the right cards that you're supposed to play and just don't make mistakes. But right. yep. I can go play poker right now at low stakes and players will play whatever the fuck hands they want. There's like an optimal way to bet. They won't follow that, even though it's been solved, essentially. It's like computer level solved. And they'll say, oh, I can't get out of low stakes in poker. Does this sound familiar? The reason why I use this metaphor is because I want to tell you and just kind of encourage you a little bit it don't feel like because you haven't played for a long time or that you haven't played forever that these players are just unbeatably but dude it's not true so usually what i do with ezreal is i try to establish a push asap this is good you have the push so try not to fight for the minions to try to land damage these autos from draven do not tank these autos now, you're allowed to auto minions, like, right now, but if he walks up at you, you gotta step back. Autos are not something that he just gets to do for free. You understand? Right. Nice. Nice little Ian. You could, you could, uh, if you're gonna do that, you can auto a bit more in that spot. Now I wouldn't, though. Now I wouldn't. Because he's level 2 as well. But keep flinging those cues out. Keep your passive up. I don't know if you've seen me talk about Ezreal before, but that passive, yeah. everything. When the wave gets stuck like this and we don't have kill potential, I just start autoing and queuing and try to get the wave under. Yep, just keep trying to auto. You can have your support push if you assist ping it. Ah, uh, it looks like they're going to push out. We should just let them push out. Let's just sit back. Because I don't think you're going to stop it from coming out. So they just thin the wave out. No, no, no. Let them come it, to you. Let them. Let's just go on defense for a bit. Okay. And defense just means just sit back and farm as best you can. Say what again? When you're on defense, just sit back and farm as best you can. Okay. And when you get a second, if you're having issues hearing, you can just turn game sound down. Okay. I play with pretty low game sound for that reason. She's in a bad spot. She's in minions. I would just let her die if she gets too low. Now, the biscuits, I know you felt like you had to use it there because you had no mana, but I would hold off. Because okay. <laughs> you're just farming under tower anyways, right? right? So it's not a big deal to wait. You should keep autoing here if they give you free autos. <clears throat> Makes it so that you don't have to farm as badly under tower. Try to manage your mana here. You're throwing a lot of Qs unnecessarily. Like if you're allowed to auto and farm, like here I would use Qs to get the farm. But before I would just hold my Q because right, I'm allowed to okay. just free free auto, right? I see. Yep. There's no need to. There's no need to farm with Q unless you have to. You can walk up, but like. This is pretty unlikely to connect, yeah. I would just last yeah, it. Tank was kind of, uh... what the... I would go for a push. I would assist ping the shove if you could and just start autoing the wave. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Just keep autoing as fast as you can. Keep autoing. Careful of his autos, but keep autoing. Nocturne's flanking. So I'd walk up. That's a good flank. Calmly walk up. Don't E into it. Just walk up. Now you can E if you want, because he used everything. Oh, I have... That was like the rest of my mana. To right, 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 right. Let's assist ping the shove, though, because you have no mana. There's a ping that tells people to push. You should use that ping if you can learn it. Uh, so if you hold all... Yes, yes. Ping it and just... Because you see how low your mana is? You can't get the wave under, right? All right, let's back up and take a recall in the bush. I usually go Essence Reaver first item. Is that okay? Yep. That's completely standard. Uh, start with the... Yeah, that's actually fine. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. That's good. Are we getting free boots on this page? I think we do, right? Yes, we are. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, Draven hasn't backed yet. You see that? That's good that you moved your camera down right. there. So what I would do, because he's not pushing fast, see how slow he's moving? I would come into right, lane, yep. and I would start pushing hard at him and try to stop his back. Okay, yep. So you're going to walk up real confident. I mean, obviously, don't E at him. Save your E, because it is Draven. He'll yeah. beat your ass. But poke, like, push aggressive. Like, try to get a win against him right now. So walk yep. up, cue the wave, start autoing it, and try to find his back. Cue the wave, walk forward. Walk forward, walk forward. You're not going to stop his back. Yep. Now you can back down. Now, don't even push. Don't even push. Just last hit. The wave's pushing you. Stop his back. Walk forward and cue him. Yep. Just find him real quick. Quick cue and then back to wave. Okay. He went back behind the tower. So he played it like... He played it safe. Don't push. Do not push. Do not push. Just last hit. You see these autos you're throwing? You're pushing the wave for no right. reason. He's losing all of this right now. He's going to lose the cannon. He's going to lose a lot of shit because he backed at that time. Because you stopped his back. Wave management is like chess. You're really new, so it's kind of out of your pay grade at the moment. But like this is a really good position. Because now he's going to be behind an XP the rest of the game. Because of this. That's really good. You're waiting for the very last second. That's perfect. All right, so now it's kind of the rhythm of the game. Draven should be back soon, so I'm just going to start pushing. So go ahead and just auto the wave. Yep, see? Perfect. Let's try to get the push in our favor and start trying to land some cues on this guy. Keep autoing and then look to cue him. Yeah, just kite back. He, he, we do not want to trade autos with this guy ever, just so you know. You're allowed to try to cue him, though. There you go. Perfect. Now just chill, 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 chill. Just last hit and try to land cues on them. I don't want cues on minions. I want cues on them. Nice idea from the bush. I like that. It's a good idea. Cool. Now try to just at the very last second, last hit in these spots so you get more windows to queue. Okay. Now here, he should not be allowed to do this. We need to queue him for this. Yep. Auto, auto. And just keep autoing the wave and do not queue it. Just queue him. Now I know that I'm real big on... Oh, tight back. Let's try to push this wave under so we can get it right back timing. Keep autoing, keep autoing, keep autoing, keep autoing. See how you step back? He's not in auto range, so keep autoing. Yep, keep autoing. He's not autoing us. Keep autoing. No need to step back if he's going to yeah, step yeah. back. Now you can just bail. Yeah, just take a recall here. Actually, is this cannon wave or... This is a small wave, I think. All right, let's use the biscuit and start autoing again. Ping the push. Ping the push uh, ping. Uh, yeah, that was... Keep autoing. It's okay. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Remember, it's all about the wave. Keep autoing. If you have nothing... To... Oh, God. You're going crazy. Keep autoing this whole time. Yep. Yeah. The thing about Ezreal players is they get real hung up about the Q. Oh, okay, back. Yeah. So, I, uh, it's okay. I goofed there. It's okay. So, the thing is, you're, you're still new to Ezreal, right? So, like, yep. you keep trying to focus on the Q too much. Let Ezreal just auto. Okay. Instead of, like, moving around and being all crazy, let him just auto. And just focus on pushing waves out. Right. Nocturne gets that kill. Because he has nothing left. Ping him off. Don't let him touch the wave. Hopefully he doesn't touch it. Nice. Now just freeze it. 
And by freezing it, just try to keep four minions on the enemy side. Now trim this out a little bit. Slow it down right there. And just keep four more enemy minions. And aim for ranged minions. Okay, get rid of one range creep. One more. And now back up. So it's not you're not tanking the wave. Back up. There you go. Look at that. Now you have a freeze. Now when Draven starts coming back, you can again start pushing into him because I want you to challenge. I want you to learn. I don't want you to just hold a freeze like a pussy. I want you to actually like limit test. Now start pushing and start autoing. There you go. Now once you've stacked up the Q a little bit, let's try to land some Qs on him while autoing the wave. Auto the wave. If he's not on you to auto, now Q him and back up. Then auto the wave and then try to Q him. Good. Auto the wave, auto the wave, auto the wave. Now sidestep and Q him. Now auto the wave, auto the wave, auto the wave. Sidestep and try to find a Q. If he can only hit the wave, then hit the wave. But otherwise, let's try to hit him. There you go. I would challenge that. His support just left. I'd go. I would, I would E at him and everything. I would just challenge. Ult him, whatever you need. Now push. Keep bottling the whole time. Get this dude under tower and let's just bomb him with some Qs. All right, maybe uh, smack the tower a bit. Save point or save your E's. Just don't waste too much mana. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess you can E in now. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I would hold the E there. Now, let's get in the bush and recall. And just go for it. Pray that Lee doesn't find us. So when you're diving like that, save your E and just auto Q him and then E away. Don't, don't E in like that. Uh, no, 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 no. We're going to go next okay. item. We're going to go, uh, Navori on this champ. Navori? Okay. Yeah. So Navori rush. Usually, um, mythic is dusk blade, but, uh, okay. you want to go Navori first. It's a better, it's a better, uh, path. Okay. Um, I have a guy who's like a Ezreal one trick type of dude. And he does a lot of like, just this build where you just go like essence driven Navori and then do like uh you could do anything you could do lucid boots into like ravenous you could just go frozen heart this game knowing me i would just go i would probably just go Navori into like dusk blade into frozen heart now keep this position this is a nice position i don't want to push out just just last hit here now with that your supports here go ahead and start pushing and autoing the wave yeah, cue it. Cue it off CD. Now you have mana, so now I'm not afraid to queue. Yeah, that's good. Keep bottling and then find a queue. If you win, jump, jump in it. Jump into that. If you start winning, jump into that shit. Keep queuing. Let's push. Now, in that spot, when you start winning like that, Fucking E on that guy. Right. Don't worry about Sona ults and all that shit right now. Just when you start stacking up like three Qs, challenge it. Now walk forward and Q the wave. We see Lee Sin on the minimap. Kite back though. Every auto you should be stepping back so you don't tank the wave as much. You're taking free damage to the wave. It's good what you're doing. Just make sure you kite every time. Even versus minions. Right. Now let's knock this tower down. I push one more. I see Lee Sin at the top of the map. Yeah, assist ping the push. Get into the habit of when you make a decision, you ping your teammate. We'll just kite back. Perfect. Now EOA and take a recall. Good. That's good. You're in the bush. You're good. Lucid Boots, Navori. That builds some long swords. Get on the map quick. Now, as you're moving to mid, hold tab. You're moving to mid, remember. Mid. We're not going bottom anymore. Bot is over. All right. So, uh... 
this was our mid laner, right, Lux? Yeah, so we'll just go mid and start sieging. Same idea. You got to be confident now. You're in mid game. It's Ezreal's strongest point, and we're fed. So get out into the lane, start queuing it. Save your E, and just really push aggro. Just constantly auto, constantly queue. Off CD, fast, 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 fast. Walk forward, walk forward, walk forward. Q auto. Yep, Q auto. Auto, 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 Q. Assist ping your team. You want to siege. Now, she clears the wave. I would help my teammates on Rift. Keep queuing. Let's rotate to Rift. They got it. Cool. Now, as you're doing this, remember, we don't have a ton of sustain, so be careful with the Lux poke. If it looks like it's going to connect, maybe consider eating out of the way. Let's walk forward and try to land some Qs. Go. The, the wave's coming, so walk forward. Yep. Don't be afraid. Q, Q, Q. Duck into the brush. Maybe fling an ult at this guy. You can do whatever. You can turn... Oh, maybe not there. Good. Now walk forward and Q him. Spam Q on minions to lower the CD of your E. Without E, I would just Q the minions. Okay. I would not auto that minion because that would get my E a lower CD. Okay. So let's go back to the wave and start pushing. Remember that an ADC's job is mostly sieging, okay? okay. I duck it behind the corner and ult there. Just to pressure. Ult the Lux? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a quick ult, just to put pressure on her. Yeah, that's good. As soon as this minion wave peels off, cue it immediately. Keep yourself at arm's reach, though, because there you were way too close. When she walked up, you didn't back down at all. Good. Now you can walk up. When she used the abilities, feel comfortable challenging. All, uh, Brett, coming back. No. No, I would just be autoing tower. Pay attention to her CDs and think about them. If she uses CDs, now I'd step back. Okay, cool. Now we'll push one more wave and we'll take another recall. So let's cue the wave quick. Don't, don't step over the wave like this. Back up, back up, back up. You're way too close to the wave. Just Q and chill. Because you don't have a minion wave on you. Now back away. Make another recall. <clears throat> Alright, build what you can. I'd sell the Doran's Blade here, I think. Just to get a pickaxe on the map. It's a lot of AD. Usually people go uh, blue trinket here too. If you want to work that into your game, you can do that. On the next back, we definitely should. It's better than wards at this stage. Okay. Right, I yeah. Especially for when you're squishy trying to face check and stuff. Right. So you're going to walk forward. You're going to jam Q on the wave again. Q the next wave. You could QR at her just to... Clear the wave quick and pressure. Yeah, fling the R. There you go. Now let's go harass this Lee. We have Pryo on mid. There's a Lee below you. See him below you? You can go Q at him a bit. Don't E into him, though. Just kind of walk and throw your wards down. Throw a ward in that bush on your left. And then back up to the mid lane. Back to the mid lane. Perfect. Because we got to keep pushing waves. So let's get up on the wave. Crash it again. Walk right up. Q spam. Go, 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 go. This is how Ezreal needs to play mid game, okay? You just siege the fuck out of people. And then your team's fighting, so I'd be sliding over as I'm doing this. I'd be sliding to my team. Keep queuing, though. Don't stop queuing. There you go. Now walk over. Walk over, just like you were doing. Looks like they won it already. Okay. Get right up on the wave here and threaten to shove the next wave. Queue it right away. Queue back up. Queue back up. It's very low CD now. Queue. I would not okay, ult that. That, that yeah. Like, I was trying to. I was trying to level up, and it. Got it. Got it. Because yeah, I was, I was like, I would not. Up. I would not ult two minions there. Walk forward a little bit and find the next wave. Your team's fighting, right? And we're just pushing. So yeah, cue it. Cue it. Keep autoing the tower, though. No need to. No need to waste your autos on on minions. That makes sense. Yep. So if you'd managed your autos there, you would have already had this tower. 
Stuff like that adds up in this game. I would I would just keep queuing. Remember, yeah, out of the tower and just keep queuing the minions. There's a big difference there. Because now you're actually being efficient. I don't know what's up with the enemy team, but... Oh, I would leave, by the way. Let's just E away. You don't want to take inhib this early. Ping him off. You don't want to take inhib. It's, an, it's a low elo game. That's okay. You just try to ping him off. If he ints, it's fine. Navori next. And then you would go Duskblade yeah, for big damage. Okay. Yeah. Buy a pink and then buy, buy a blue trinket. All right, let's get on map. Now, usually, I would just go to red here. Or blue. I'd probably just take blue and get to bot lane because this game is a stomp. Yeah, let's go blue. And immediately, you're just going to Q blue. And then kite it away. Uh, try to take it, but if he wants it, it's nothing you can do about it. That's fine. Let's go bottom. Mid, mid and top have inhibs open, so we got to end the game now. Inhibs, taking them early puts your game on a timer, okay? Always yeah, yeah. remember that. Either end the game quickly or they're going to come back. Yeah, they get more XP. Yeah. If you keep waiting yeah. and throw a bunch, they're going to have more XP than XP. your team. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Got so it. just don't don't fuck around. If you take early inhibs, really try to like make your team barren, make your team push, like whatever you can do to keep the game moving. Because at that point, that's why I don't like taking them. Because if I don't take them, I don't feel like I have to rush. Right. But now that we've taken them, we kind of have to play quick. So W the tower, land some Qs. Cool, nice try. Another wave coming. I would just ult the wave. Straight line, straight line. Right down, right down bottom. Push, just, just R it. There you go. There's no need to wait because you're going to have your ult again soon. See every Q is lowering that cooldown now. Right. So just jam that ult and keep queuing. Try to find minions to queue too while you wait. So I'd like walk forward while autoing and just keep trying to queue minions. Oh shit, I thought I was gonna get tower aggro there. That's weird. Is she's so far back, that's why. Oh, uh, I see. And then at the last second you just E away. Alright, cool. Take a recall. If they keep pushing, we can end. All right, push. Get the, this guy's TPing forward, so whatever. He wants to... This guy's boosting or something. He wants to end quick. <laughs> Try to ult as many minions as you can is usually the trick here. Teammates were owning this game, so... All right, what did we learn in the first game? The game's a lot easier than I thought it was, actually. What do you mean? I mean, I'll have games where I'm like 13, 1, and, you know, 12 on Ezreal and we'll lose. And then I'll have a game where I'm 2, 1, 1 and just absolutely snowball. Which probably has a lot to do with the fact that I'm just not pushing waves that I should be pushing when I should be pushing them. Yeah, the I mean, this game, this Mordekaiser was massive, so that makes it a little different. But right. the thing that I try to teach is like... In this game with Ezreal, just confidently use your Q, especially after yeah. Essence Reaver, just jam waves like a psycho. Get used to it. That's all you need to yep. that's all you need to know right now. Um Ezreal's kind of weak early, but you can play to push with him. And then once you get items, he's really strong in mid-game and he falls off like a rock late game. So you gotta really like yeah. you gotta hammer on kids when you have mid-game. That's why I'm not letting you chill. I'm I'm like Alt, do shit. Like, get on the map. Go. Because if you wait around, you're going to fall off. I don't want you to experience Ezreal from, like, a deficit that sucks. All right, let's queue up again. Right. Okay. But we get top this time. But yeah, if you play bot lane, start very simple, simply with auto the wave. If you have mana, you can use it on the minions for a bit. But once you have your Q stacked up, Try to find cues on enemy champions once you have the push. Maintaining autos on the wave as well is important.